All right, welcome back, guys, and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm definitely starting to feel those feelings where, where you know you're coming to an end in a story of a video game, and it's always a bittersweet moment. I know we still have a couple of episodes left and whatnot, and if you've noticed, I've done a lot of side quests in comparison to what I normally do. And I might, even if I don't complete them all after we finish this story, I might come back and, and do more. Because I've, I've had an absolute blast, and I still am. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of point that out. I'm in that bittersweet stage where I'm like, ah, oh, the end is coming. I'm excited, but I'm also a bit sad. So, we are now starting off the episode. Starting off the episode with the third trial. So we've gone ahead and fast traveled inside the castle into the grand staircase section. And so clearly we're headed over to the headmaster's office in order to begin our third trial. So we have to, I don't think we've been all the way up as a matter of fact. See, this is something really cool about this game. All the details, look at all the portraits and things on the walls. Rebellion. Really, really incredible. Look at this. We could follow the little key, but right now I have my eye on the prize. And the prize is the third trial. Oh, what is this? Okay, we'll figure that out later. It's another puzzle. Yeah, we've, we have not been this far up. Especially here in the castle. This is a legendary section. This is kind of like... This has been in all the movies since like the first one, right? You can't imagine how inconvenient it's travel was before insane. I invented... Insane. Look how high we're going. What is going on? Whoa. Yeah, you see, we haven't been here at Rebellion. all. Rebellion. Rebellion. Absolutely. Troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. That it has uh, survived at all is astonishing since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it out of anger. Understandably. Welcome back for that chest. I don't want to start already having to empty out my gear. You guys know how irritating that is. Merlin trials. Rebellion. I need to do more. We are in the trophy room currently. Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary, 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 exemplary skill in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff, Mirabel Garlic from Mandrakes to Mistletoe and Boobotubers, did I pronounce that? To Bouncing Bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectation. I don't know if I pronounced that word properly. Rebellion. Probably did not. We've got another field page here. I will collect that. And we shall... Man, I did not realize this guy's office was that far up. And I should probably be collecting some shit here. Just saying. Whoa. My goodness. Look at this. I mean, there's been so many movies that I'm sure the devs Rebellion. were able to pick up on a lot of stuff. Level 2 lock. We do not have that. I'm getting sick and tired of running here. <laughs> I think we have arrived. Perhaps. Almost. Yeah. The gargoyle. That's yeah. where I need to speak the password. Yes, 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 yes. Headmaster's office gargoyle, yes. Whisper the password. Toujours pure. Toujours pure. Did I, did I do that right? This is just like the movie. Nuts. I 
wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. there two more dude this is exactly bro this room is identical what oh my god they did a phenomenal job the sorting hat <laughs> they have done an absolutely remarkable job it's good to see you all thanks to professor fig's quick thinking now what Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Very well. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. If I this finish. under the headmaster's nose all this time. Let's go. The third trial. And so it begins. Where am I? In Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. What? You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. This is so unexpected. I was not expecting this at all. being seen well that's some bullshit oh my god I should have run when I could I'd be free by now oh my god best move while I can Neve must be here somewhere I need to time this just right. Nope. Just right, correct? Yes. No, 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 no. Oh man, I almost got spotted. Holy cow. I see a staircase straight ahead. All right, I'm gonna wait for this sucker to turn around. It's go time. Is that portraying the same one from the movies? About the story? Of the three brothers? Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Oh my gosh. Or perhaps they will. Make your way through still without being seen. Okay, where the heck do I go? This way. They're gone for now. I need to get out of here. Everybody's hiding. Where could Neve be? 
Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Yo, this is BS, bro. What is going on? I thought we were gonna go into That's like that. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. I thought we were gonna go into like that dungeon that we've always done in the last two trials. I had no idea we we're gonna go into this sort of comic bookish style universe. I'm so happy. <laughs> Honestly, it's different. It's cool. Should I hit? Nah, we're good. I was gonna hit something to distract them, but... Seems like I didn't need to do all that. There's death again, that little bastard. Nothing this way, but more danger. I gotta cut left here. No, I need no. to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh my god. Ah! Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Oh my god, this is wild. I never thought I'd have to upgrade my stealth traits until now. I'm starting to realize maybe it would have been a smart idea. Now's my chance. That's right. Here we go. So far, perfect. Flawless. That's the way forward. Excellent. Oh! <gasps> Is that the cloak of invisibility? A mysterious cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Dude, this is amazing. This is what the third brother used to hide away this from is the death. Way Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have had one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. What? Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way, bro. That's crazy. such power. My moves are different too. Revelio. Bombarda. Oh my god. Okay, this is crazy. It's going down, baby. Let's go. I can feel the power. the coolest episode right now well one of them we've had a couple of cool ones but these these spells that i hold in my hand the power the ultimate power the oh, oh my God. yeah you're yeah, right sucker free sunday you wish But he was a fool! Weak minded! I feel the power. I might go fucking evil on this. On the 
this ending. I don't know, man. This is pretty tempting. Get out of town. Bro, and they regenerate so fast. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to unlock the Fender. Look how strong that thing is. Jeez. More potions. Revelio. Stacked up on potions. So we're good. Yep. There's death. Man, this this wall. Or please. That's cool. Out of here with that nonsense. You guys are cooked. Yeah, right. Take that back. Silly little troll. So much damage, the number cropped out. Look at that. Look at death back there, just taking a look at me. <laughs> Sucker. Watch me as I destroy your minions. Oh no. Oh hell no. Bro, that Defendo is nice. Is it, when I unlock it, is it that powerful? Have I really been missing out on all this Defendo. goodness? So you guys are nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh no, okay, hold on. Time out. Hey, I said time out. I dodged that! Oh, that perfect parry right there, man. Defender, the pulsa, defender, the pulsa. Bam! Sayonara. Defender, the pulsa. Dude, whoever says the combat is not fun in this game, I don't know what to tell you. This is freaking. This is a blast. did it in half the time or whatever it was asking us for. Forgetting the name of it right now. And well, I think 
we found her. Give me back the wand. Please give it back to me. A simple stone. This must be for me. A stone. Wow. Wow. I was I'm so happy they included this. Far from finished, pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Hmm. I can't believe she's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so <laughs> Oh, wow. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Look at death just waiting there. Oh, this is dope. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Let's witness her memory. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember the... that as you witness my memory. I want to experience this memory of yours. This was so different. This was amazing, much better than the other two. 100%. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Onia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. No, she did not. What are you doing? No, she did not. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of it. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to. Wow. Oh, this is getting good. This is getting good. Rebellion. My God. What in the world? Speak to the newly arrived keeper. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But 
You are so... Young? No. I know. You must be Professor Bacall. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. That's freaking... That was... That's disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Wow. So that's going to be the force. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. Yeah. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. The hollowed hero. Bro. That was freaking awesome. That was so, that was so awesome. Like, wow. That was incredible. What now? Man, that was, that was cool that they, they let us play with, with the, uh, well, we didn't really play with the stone, but we did play with the wand and the invisibility cloak. That was freaking cool. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, 
he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. Hmm. I'll send you an owl when I have news. So that's that. That was gonna be more. We're going back to our roots, okay? Back to our roots we go. Yeah, I had a feeling I was up this way in the corner. Yep. It's in the corner store. Corner shop. Went back to my roots. Come on in. Come on in. That's it. Forget about it. All right. I can't really see anything because I don't have... But I'm going back to my roots. We started like this. We're going to end it like this. Although I'm feeling a little bit more angry now. Feeling a little bit more upset. Maybe have a scar or... Not a scar, but maybe some sort of nasty... Well, it is a scar. I don't know. I like this scratch better. That one. Ooh. Maybe we're consumed by darkness. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? <laughs> Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matibilaland, father would still be with us. Oh. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Oh, she teaches that so class. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. That's pretty cool. Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh no, a person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. <laughs> and I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. 
I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, that was pretty awkward. Can you turn into a gazelle for me? That'd be cool. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Whoa, what are you what are you doing up there? Hi. Get out of there. That looks weird. You're scaring me, my little gazelle. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. All right, well, I guess we're attending class as well. <laughs> I love how it's all the same students. Excuse me. <laughs> He's like, right. Right. So we should learn. So knowledgeable. What do we have here? We I hope those to... assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Renoy. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I see triumph, I see power. I don't know if these things... There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. Hmm. A measured perception. I have found that we triumph most often when we weather hardship together. Rain does not fall on one roof alone, as my husband was fond of saying. <laughs> but this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Why, Channel thank you. your magic towards your targets. Descender. All right, we've got a new spell. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Oh, absolutely. And we are now level 24. So let's go here. Which this is where we had. Um, actually, I'm going to do pull. Oh, this is good. I'll do pull, push, and down. And then this would be flipendo, which just flips. Okay, cool. And so yellow, red. Okay, cool. I'll leave this here for now, but I definitely should use, um, I should probably have this here and that there. That's crazy. You have it. <laughs> That's insane. That's a powerful move. All right, so what do we have here? 
A demigod. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistresses to offer you the position of deviation professor. Divina divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I agree with your response. Right, because she, she has a lot to offer because she comes from a different school. So we're going to go to the map and... I'm just going to wait here so I can unlock this little... Oh little no, let me, guys. You still writing? Damn! Whoa. Professor, no. do you have a moment? I'm sorry. I yes. sense that's more. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to collect the moon. There we go. Alright, so this is what we're doing now. We are headed to a brand new quest. In the Shadow of Hope. This is getting weird, man. Question. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Huh. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Bro, I wouldn't put it past Solomon him. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? I have a feeling he's probably gonna kill him, dude. Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Hmm. Interesting. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See Man, you soon. What the frick is going on? This guy's gonna be doing something crazy. All right. Oh. So we're meeting Nadia here outside of Hogsmeade. Disobeying her mother's wishes, but who am I to say? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. 
And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. So we gotta speak with Agabus, Daisy and Otto. Closest one is right here. Three broomsticks, isn't this? Leave so upstairs. Interesting. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, she's even further upstairs. Hmm. I think I can hear. I can hear her. Hello. Oh, Isco. What have I? Mrs. Rabe. I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with your banking with our banking needs we've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own but we're beginning to lose our patience we know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together but we expect the response by week's end best to keep this between us if you understand what i'm right. hanging on to thank you oh, blackmailing her too late. now to find mr bickles are the two friends all right, next one's gonna be up here, up north a bit. Also, did all that to Gladrax? I should check there. Uh, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along, Mr. Dibble. Mm. May I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. 
He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow Listen. advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, <laughs> none of this bodes God. well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I'm playing this man for a fool. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. <clears throat> Alright, last one, guys. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Incendio! Confringo! Rebellion! Confringo! Incendio! Whoa. Let me see if this actually works here. Or if it has to be with a potion only. Ah, you see? Invisible. 500? Oh my god. Damn. I think that just gave me enough to do the broom upgrades I was looking for. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. So tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. Hmm. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... Uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. 
I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Her wand? Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted That's me true. to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Oh, behind here, huh? Oh, little bastards. Ravelio! All right, listen up, Those boys. Those little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Where's my friend? You better speak up before I kick your ass. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find Rescuing a friend? No, uh -huh. I knew that was going to happen. This room. There must be another way forward. Akio! Arresto momentum. Akio. A hidden door. Revelio. A hidden door. Oh, Matthew no. must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. <laughs> Yo, look at those glasses. Let That's hilarious. Sure not seen. Oh wow. Optional. Find uh, Agabus Filbert's book of poems. Find. Does it matter if I get seen? I mean, I don't really think so. I'm here to kick their ass, anyways. Student would be arrogant enough to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. Done it. I got so much power. I'm dying to destroy you. Is that all you got? Nice move. There you go. Dark arts. For the win. <laughs> Literally. Sign up. Oh. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. No? Okay, bye. Sheesh. Revelio. Revelio. Ooh, an identified face item. There's a lot of stuff here, little items, pouches, money. That's exactly what we need. You are as dear to me as uh, an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as loved by me as a corrupt could be whose loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Lucibella Filbert. The okay. book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. Yep. You'll be thrilled to have this back. Alright, so we gotta go up, up there as well. Revelio. I'm here to rescue my friend. I know there's like one or two chests down there, but 
It's all right. Must be here somewhere. No big deal. There she is. I just saw her. You found us. I knew you would realize I had to fail. Of course, my friend. Ooh. Hello, Hamora. Oh, nice. Bingo. Ooh, Rave's wand. That's cool. Confringo. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Well, that dude looks 12. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. Mm -hmm. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Cool. Revelio. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But All be right. careful. Let's get out of here. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isko Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. The authorities did absolutely nothing. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. Thank you. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Okay, I think I'll upset her. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. All right. It's crazy because a lot of the things, a lot of the things uh, as far as quests go in this game, you have to complete side activities or reach certain levels, which is basically rule one, you know, 101 is it rule number one or rule 101 or 101 whatever it's it's basic sense common sense it's common knowledge common practice common practice in rpg games um for you to have to level up and be a certain level nice to see you again it could be tedious in some games it hasn't been that bad in this one because the missions have been pretty good what are we looking for today yeah, i'm looking for this uh Four thousand dollars you're about to take away from me that I'm gonna cry. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Uh, you bastard. You freaking bastard. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <laughs> <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but you'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. 
I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Mm. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. All right. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Hmm. Oh, what do you wow. have in store for me this time? Dude, flying is way faster. Look at this. Yeah, flying is much, much Rebellion. faster. My gosh. Oh, wait, those are some of the things I need, matter of fact. Well, the frogs. Arrest their momentum. That's right. Settle yourself. I mean, you no know harm. Look at that. Wow. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching today's episode. We will be back soon. And we have yet still much more to uncover.